I'm back out here with Omar. I talked to Omar. Uh, I met you July 30th for the first time and you were having problems with the back of your head, right? It's a little yeah. swollen. Uh, it went down a little bit, right? Uh, what is it? What is it? Bit. What does it look like in the in the back? It went down. The swelling went down a little bit. You would say? Yeah, because uh, last time I seen it, my friends, about the Mexican, the bison said that uh, they said that it went it went down a little bit, just not not much, but just a little bit. Okay. And did you end up going to the hospital that day? The, no, because the uh, last time I had waited about like. Yeah, like last time I told you, yeah, I told you I waited like about like 15 hours just just to wait, and they had given me uh they had, they had given me uh pills, and right now I'm taking those right now, but right now I'm out of those, so I have to go get more. What are those pills? Oh, uh, well, they're, they're at first they gave me I put both in 800, and they gave me those some water pills. I don't know what the what the the, the name called. My dad, uh, my dad has the bottles. Okay. And I saw you yesterday. You were uh, like helping out the local, um, like one of the stores, right? A convenience store here. Same one? Yeah. Oh yeah. I uh, the the guy uh, is it Juan. Yeah, Juan. He he lets me clean around. He, he lets me clean around and clean the pumps and uh like I take out the trash and he gives me like 10 bucks just to get through the day and eat and all that and he's, he buys me tacos and all that and i clean up the, the place and all that okay so that's how you eat sometimes is just yeah. by cleaning around a little bit yeah and collecting cans yeah and have you thought about uh, I know last time you said that your friends were waiting for you to take you to the hospital after the interview with me, but um, uh, what is are you gonna, are you gonna wait until like you need like it hurts the pain is intense that you have to go or what, like yeah when, when it when it gets when it gets worse then you probably yeah when when it, get, when it gets like when the swelling gets if it gets bigger then yeah I'm probably gonna go and I'm going. Because if I go now, there will probably not be no reason going, and I'm being end up waiting, and they're gonna end up telling me some other things, and then they're gonna end up telling me to go, and, like last time, because I waited yeah, for like 15 hours. You're waiting what in the emergency room or? Yeah, in the waiting room, like when you wait when there's a bunch of chairs and all that. 15 hours. 15 hours I waited, and yeah. Wow. What um, and what were you doing now when I approached you? Like, uh, you had your backpack on. Uh -huh. Like, were you trying to work? Were you well, trying to? I just got done cleaning the the taco guy, taco shop guy. He asked me to clean if I could clean the the front in front of the bus stop because it was dirty, and he said he was gonna give me uh, either five five dollars or uh, a taco and a drink, and I accept the the five dollars instead. And he said he'll give me a taco later, so. Okay. And uh, so after you you're, you were done cleaning, like, what does your <clears throat> your day look like? After you're done cleaning, are you do you go look for for pills? No, uh, I could usually collect cans. Well, I collect cans for now, so I can get so I save up for because I save up for a little bit of food and I save up for. To be honest, I save up for pills and all that. And, yeah. How much do you make uh, with the uh, collecting cans? Well, the guy, because uh, I give them to the guy in uh, Chevron, and he gives me about like seven bucks. And I don't care how much I get, because honestly, he buys, me, he buys me food and he gives me drinks. He offers me food and all that. And sometimes he, 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 lets, he hooks me up with with extra food and I, I, take, I usually take it home. Take it, take it with me, yeah. not home, but I call this home. Last night, where did you sleep? Uh, behind the, behind the, behind the store. And uh, have you seen the, <clears throat> they call them Skittles? Skittles, uh, the pills? 
the pills. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're the pink, purple, yellow, and all different colors. They're just the food, just the food coloring that I know of. It's just food coloring, and they just taste different. They don't taste like regular booze. So it's more chemicals, obviously. Yeah. They're just when did they start hitting the streets? Like, when did you notice them? Well, like, maybe like a week ago, two weeks ago. So it's kind of new? Yeah, to me, yeah. Like, about two weeks ago, I didn't even know about them. Until, like, when, they, when this guy gave me, like, three of them. He had a, had a god or something, and he gave me some different color pills. What the hell? And he said that they were good. And so I just walked away and took them. Do you have any right now? No. Usually when you, you have them, it's because you're going to smoke them right away? No, I, just, I usually save them because I, I, uh, I get dope sick. and So I just usually save them. And so I, I'll take like maybe like four hits, three hits, and I'll save the rest later. And I'll go do my cans and I'll take an, another hit after like, what, 20, 30 minutes. What do you think would happen if the police caught you with like pills, like a few go, pills? Go to jail. I'll probably get, uh, uh, I want to spend time in jail a little bit. Last time I, I did spend time in jail for, what was it? Yeah, it was, it was for de death, for uh, shoplifting. I was in there for three months and six days. For shoplifting? Yeah. It was uh, about, the last one I did was about 30 grand. $30,000 worth of merchandise? Yeah. So probably because you got a long stretch because of the amount, right? 30, uh, 28 cases. I think the last boost I did uh, when they caught me, it was about like six, about like six thousand, six thousand dollars and thirty cents. And they, they caught me. They caught me. A bunch of leap, bunch of man, uh, bunch, bunch of stuff. Six thousand dollars worth of stuff. So now you're you went to collecting cans as opposed to boosting. Yeah. I, I, I know how the jail feels like and I, I, I want to go back to jail. You want to go back to jail? I waited seven hours just to get toilet paper. It's a long time. Yep. They treat you like, they treat you like you know, like shit and all that. They treat, treat you like dogs, but... It's better just to stay away, right? Just, yeah. Just don't go in there at all. Then you have to worry about them treating you anyway, right? Yeah. But, um... When you were in there the last time, did you have your uh, your little uh, the back of your head? Did you have that issue in jail? Yeah. What I did they tell you? Nothing. They told me to to uh, talk to the nurse, and they were giving me pills too. But then I forgot what, what the, the pill called. I think they were giving me, they were still giving me ibuprofen, but they were giving me more uh, pills for 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 them uh, because like, I was dope sick in there. Obviously. Yeah. I was, I was coming off, and they were giving me pills for that to come off it. They were giving me pills for anxiety. Is that how you say? Anxiety? Anxiety? Yeah. Because I, I had that. My legs were like shaking and I was throwing up and all that. You're going through withdrawals? Yeah. And they kind of don't really do anything, right? They just give you ibuprofen basically or yeah. just put a Tylenol? Yeah, Tylenol, and they were giving me some pills to put under my tongue for. Nausea? I don't know. Nausea? Yeah, no, nausea. Um, when was that? <clears throat> when you were locked up? When was the last time? Uh, it's, it's been like what, five months ago. About like five months ago. I say, I can say five months ago. Okay. And you, it sounds like you really don't want to go back, so you stay, you're staying away from boosting and yeah. theft and going into stores. I don't know. A lot of people ask me too if, 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 if I want to boost for them. Or if I want to go go steal some TVs, I, I tell them no, and then they get mad and they tell me to, you know, to f the f word and then off, and then I should walk away. And are these like normal people, quote unquote no, normal people, people friends, that are smoking or smoking? Just friends. They're out here on the street. Yeah, like my friends and all that, and they get mad, and then they tell me that you you get you probably get like three or four hundred pills. I tell them. I tell them I don't care, I, don't care. I, I just don't want to, because if I get caught, I'll go back to jail, I'll go back, I'll go to jail, and then this time, this time I'll do eight years, instead, because last time they were giving me four years, but I, I won the case, and they, I got released, 
That's why I was only in there for three months. The last time they were getting, getting you four years, but then they were getting me eight years, but then it, been, it went back to four, and then it went from four, went from winning the case. Oh my lord. So the judge told you that, hey, if you if I see you back I mean, in here again, I didn't, I'm go, I didn't go. I didn't go. I didn't go to a, a court. You didn't go to court. My judge, my lord, they all um, they all did the camera. Did the gentleman do a camera and all that? When you're, when you're in jail, they do, do the camera. Yeah, it's like a virtual yeah. session where not in person, but yeah, because of COVID and whatnot, right? Yeah. So, Omar, uh, it was really nice seeing you. Um, I'm glad that uh, your condition hasn't gotten worse, but it'd be nice if you got checked out. You should really go to the hospital and tell them to check you out as long as it's gonna take so that you know what the underlying issue is, what the problem is, and so that they can fix it, okay? But um, uh, I'm gonna give you my card, my number again, so you can call me uh, if you have any questions, if you uh, need a ride to a treatment center or somebody to talk to, okay? You said you lost it because somebody stole your backpack? Yeah. So um, that's another reason why you gotta get out of here, okay? Yeah, because when, I, when I took my ba they took my backpack, I seen I seen my friend. He was driving by, and the dude that was running, I had threw a brick at him, and he fell and he tripped, and he uh, he he got up and he still ran, and my friend went in front of him in front of the car, and went in front of, in front of him and he got my backpack back and he looked at him, and he knew he knew who he, who he who he was and he he went back to me and the dude gave my backpack go back, cause uh, I, I don't know. Because he knows them, and he knows not to be doing that to people. And it's, 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 not, it's not good from steal, to be stealing from other people. That He was picking on, on someone that was in, in their side, you know. Right. He was a bigger guy, and I was, um, I'm not big. I'm just, I'm, you know, so. Yeah. So, again, another reason for you to get off the streets, go get a treatment, go to treatment, go to your family. They'll help you out here. There's no love, no loyalty. Nobody cares about you. Uh, that get that gets proven every yeah. single day. Okay, so um, Omar, stay safe. We'll talk soon. Okay. Okay.